11.15 p.m. Friday evening, the streets of Eldoreta half empty. At one of the social spots in the town, it's a full house. Not because the weekend has started, but for the reason that most of the residents will not want to miss the opportunity of witnessing firsthand as Kenya launches a medal hunt at the London Olympics. First up was the women's 10,000 meters finals, which pitted three Kenyan athletes against a stellar squad that included Ethiopians and the defending champion Tirunesh Dibaba. Patrons of the club were soon riveted to the small screen as the 25 laps race got underway. Others opted to continue enjoying themselves. But ardent fans like David Mwaura, who has been following the 2012 Olympic Games since they started, remained rooted to his seat as he witnessed the battle between the East Africans unfold. However, Dibaba displayed her pedigree and she would emerge the victor despite a spirited fight by Kipiego and Cheriot. For the fans who watched Kenya miss out on gold but bag its first medals, it was mixed reactions. Ingawa tujashinda medali ya dhahabu, naonelea kwamba hii team yetu ya Kenya lazima tutashinda medali zaidi. Hii wasichana yetu wasitangulie sana. Vile wametangulia na mnai wa Ethiopia wamewasoma kutoka nyuma. Dibaba ni mnyama. Ukimwachia tu step kidogo na mnai atoke na akipumua amepumua ameenda. Tangu hizi mbio zianze kukimbia bana sijalala bana. Lakini nimefurahi vile Kenya amejaribu kwa namba mbili. Ajaribu karibu afike na Ethiopia. Nimeshukuria game ilikuwa poa. David Mwaura, just like many other Kenyans, is likely to stay up late once again tonight when the Kenyan trio of Moses Masai, Bedan Karoki and Wilson Kiprop continue Kenya's medal hunt in the men's 10,000 meters finals from 11 p.m. The finals will be preceded by the women's 400 meter semi-finals where Kenyan Joyce Nakumicha will be aiming to advance to the finals. Banadendong for Citizen at One.